Hi, and welcome back to Introduction to Enumerative Combinatorics. We start the second half of our course. This is lecture 5 of our 8 lecture series, and it is entitled Generating Functions. In this lecture, we will define the notion of a generating function. It is a very con convenient way to look at sequences of numbers. So in our previous lectures, we were dealing with the sequences of various numbers that had uh, some, some of them had some combinatorial nature. They were counting uh, elements in various sets and so on. And uh, well, the uh, generating functions uh, allow us to look at such sequences as a whole. Uh, so here is the definition. Let a0, a1, a2, etc. be a sequence of numbers. Well, let's say that a r, a i are just real numbers. We don't require them to be integer or whatever. And so th this sequence is uh, indexed by uh, non-negative integers, 0, 1, 2, etc. So the generating function of this sequence is the following formal power series. We denote it by the capital A of Q, where Q is a formal variable. And this is A0 plus A1 Q plus A2 Q squared plus etc. plus A n Q to the power n plus etc. So, well, this sequence can be infinite, so this uh, expression is not a polynomial, it is a formal power series. We'll speak about formal power series in a minute. And we can use a shorthand notation. Capital A of Q is the sum of A n Q to the power n for n greater than or equal to zero. Okay, um, so um, let us first consider some easy examples. Let us start with uh, a not very interesting sequence, which consists of equal numbers of uh, just ones. Examples. Example one. Suppose that a0, a1, etc. is just the sequence of ones. In this case, the generating function of this formal power series, a of q, is, well, let's look at this definition. We need to write down 1 plus q times 1, this is q, plus q squared plus etc plus q to the power n and then up to infinity. So this is just the 
geometric progression with a common ratio q, starting with 1. And uh, we know how to compute the sum of this progression. This is 1 divided by 1 minus q. Well, uh, a little bit later we will explain how to um, understand this equality formally. What, what does this expression mean? Okay, uh, here's, uh, here's another example, a variation of this one. Example 2. What if uh, we start not with a sequence of ones, but with a, just with a geometric progression? So, a0, a1, etc. is a geometric pro progression with the common ratio, let's say, lambda. Lambda, lambda squared, lambda cubed. In this case, our a of q will be a geometric progression again, but the common ratio will be equal to lambda times q. So this will be 1 plus lambda q plus lambda squared times q squared plus and so on and so on. And uh, this will be just 1 divided by 1 minus lambda q. So uh, this expression keeps track of, uh, of this sequence. So the, the, uh, the sequence a0, a1, etc. is just a sequence of coefficients of, of this expression. Or, if you wish, you can uh, take the series expansion of uh, this guy here, and its coefficients are equal to a0, a1, and a2, and etc. Okay, here's our third example, which is somewhat more interesting. Sometimes we're dealing with uh, infinite sequences, or sometimes we're dealing with finite ones. So, um, as an example, let's take the um, mth row of the Pascal triangle. Let a0, a1, a2, etc. am be the mth row of the Pascal triangle. This means that A n is just m choose n. Or you can suppose that this sequence is infinite, so you can think that A n is equal to zero for n greater than m. So this definition makes sense because the number of ways of uh, picking an L n element subset of an m element set is equal to zero if uh, n is greater than m. So this makes perfect sense. Okay, and in this case, the generating function will be as follows. Uh, a of q for this sequence is m choose zero plus m choose one times q plus etc plus m choose m times q to the power n and note that this will be a polynomial there will be no terms with the uh, powers of q greater than m so there will be just m plus one term in this expression and you know very well that this is in fact the um, the following expression. This is one plus q to the power m. 
So this is Newton's binomial theorem. So um, Newton's binomial theorem tells us that the generating function for the mth row of the Pascal triangle is nothing but 1 plus q to the power of m. 